Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Legend Daily video. This is a different video. There is no daily on the daily hook, meaning that this is not actually a vlog. Today, I actually want to talk to you guys about everything that's been going on with me lately. It's been a while since I've done one of these sit down, catch up conversations with you guys. And I feel like now is a really good time to because I have honestly, I honestly feel like I've been going through a transformation in my life lately and as part of my 2023 goals, making this video is one that needs to be done. So for those of you that are new, hello, hello. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Legend Daily. For those of you that don't know, I used to play video games Monday to Friday and stream live to an audience for a really long period of time. And actually that's where a majority of my audience comes from. They come from the gaming world. And the reason I'm making this video is because back then, I used to always rock this cross right here. Everybody used to always tell me, Chris, are you rocking that cross because it's flashy and cool? Like, are you just flexing the ice? Or are you genuinely Christian? Are you religious? And I would always tell people that I was religious and that I was Christian, but I would never go any deeper than that. So, as you can probably guess, this video, I'm gonna be talking about my faith and how my faith has, I think I've been going through an extreme transformation these past few months and I genuinely want to be open to you guys and I want to share this with you because man, it's, it's, it's a long story. My relationship with God was one that I've always kept to myself and there was many reasons for this. Growing up, I used to always go to church and I just didn't like how things kind of felt pressed on you. Nor did I also like the idea that I was listening to people who, in a sense, I felt like weren't even true to what they were trying to share with me. My relationship with God actually was one that I always kept with myself. And this year, one of my goals is to actually talk more about it. So as I mentioned, I was a streamer and in the start of 2021, I actually started my own business and that was called NSG. A lot of people, new NSG, um, a big core of my audience resonated with the brand. NSG stands for No Sleep Gang. To keep things short, that business did not work out in the way that I wanted it to work out. And for the longest time, I think for 2021, I was very, I was definitely set back. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of imposter syndrome. I was scared, I was fearful and to be honest, I felt like that was a year of hiding for me because I was dealing with a lot of internal struggles as to what's next. I, I also felt unworthy and I just genuinely didn't, I didn't know what was next and it really got to my head. And around this time also was around the same time that I actually started to game less. And since my gaming interest started to fade a little bit, you can probably assume what was starting to happen with my gaming career. I just started posting less and less and less, and I just felt this need to just get out of my room. So that was 2021 for me. It was a year full of recovery. Coming 2022, which was last year, this was a year of trying to experiment in seeing where I see myself next. Um, I tried to go back to gaming many times. I kept in touch with gaming. And every single time I would like try to game and stream, it would never stick. I think deep down within me, I just think that gaming isn't something that I want to be doing for the rest of my life essentially, nor do I want to continuously promote gaming heavily to the next generation. When 2022 came to a close around the end of this year, I actually started to rekindle my faith again. I, I genuinely don't even know how my faith just started to rekindle, but I was spending a lot of time with my girlfriend, my girlfriend Janice, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, and I realized that a lot of my problems in my life, I can easily solve through God. A lot of the problems that I was facing can be answered through God. <sighs> Man, like these last, these, these past few weeks, like I, I can't stress how, these past few weeks, I can't stress how much more fruitful my life has become now that I've been devoting more time to my faith and more time to to God and the best way that I can truly describe it is I fear nothing but God like I mentioned back in the day when I was streaming a lot of people would ask me about this cross and I would always just say I'm Christian and leave it at that 
I would never share any kind of message. I would never talk about my faith. I would never talk about my experience with God and my relationship with God. And I kept it all to myself. And I came across this one verse in the Bible that really changed things for me. And I'm gonna read it out to you guys right now. So it comes from James chapter two, verse 17. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. And when I read that verse, it kind of just changed everything for me. And for the longest time, I kind of just bottled up all my faith and kept it to myself. And I can almost look back now and see how extremely, extremely selfish that is, especially in the world that we live in today. And with that being said, one of my goals for 2023, especially with my job being an influencer slash content creator, is to stay aligned with who I truly am. That means that I gotta stop hiding my faith and I gotta talk about it more, not only for my own sake of expressing it to the world, but even better for any of you guys that might actually need to hear this message. One thing that I don't think is talked enough about as a creator is, I think you genuinely get to see the true evil and sin of the world as a creator. And the reason I say this is because when you are exposed to the entire world, when you're putting your face and your ideas and your thoughts out there to the entire world, there's no doubt that there's going to be some form of rejection. There's no doubt that there's going to be people who will have the nastiest things to say to you. And I never truly, truly realized that until I was in the eyes of over millions of people. Instead of allowing those negative words to get to myself, it, it, it made me realize and see the world in a different way. And it's that the world needs healing and that the world needs more people spreading good, spreading positivity and spreading God's love. Not just for my own sake, but for the sake of my future kids, for the sake of my future wife, and for the sake of everybody who looks up to me, I have to become the best version I can be, and I also have to become a man of God. And this realization came to me, I'm not even joking, like it came to me like a month ago. And all I can tell you is that since this time, my whole life has just gotten significantly like easier. I, I don't even know how to put it into words, but my life just feels so much better. I feel like I've hit a moment where I'm no longer afraid to hide, and I feel like this is my calling to the world. I actually wanna read you guys one more verse before we end this video, and that verse is this. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. That is in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. And my takeaway from that verse is how powerful our words can be, and how powerful our speech can be. And I want to use my words for the better, for the good. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm putting this out there for you guys. And I want you to know that you are loved, you are powerful, you are strong, you are capable, and you can accomplish anything that you want in this life through God. This is the kind of message that I want to be delivering in all of my content moving forward. Um, I'm not gonna hide it anymore. I'm gonna talk more a lot about it. I am just another person like you. I am no different, I am no better. And I want you to know that if you have any anxieties in this world, if you have any fear in this world, if there's something you want to do but you're too scared to do it, just know that everything can be done through God. Everything that I have become in my life has been through God. And with that being said, I no longer fear anything but God.